A jury in federal court has ruled that Google's Android app store has benefited from anti-competitive barriers. Google losing a major antitrust battle with Epic Games. Epic Games, a video gaming company, has filed a court case against Google and Samsung. Okay, now I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this game called Fortnite. This is from a company called Epic Games who offers some amazing games for PCs as well as Android phones. And this company sued Google a couple of years ago because Google was not allowing the third-party application stores on Android phones. They won the legal battle against Google last year and now we are able to sideload the Epic Game Store on the Android phones and enjoy a few games which are offered by Epic, which includes Fortnite as well. Now this year again, apparently Epic Games is suing Google along with Samsung. Now that's kind of shocking, isn't it? Now here's the reason for this. Even though the third-party store is allowed on Android, Samsung has added an extra option in the security settings which blocks these third-party applications by default. And that is called Auto Blocker. Now if I remember correctly, Auto Blocker was not uh, enabled by default on the Android phones, on the uh, Samsung Galaxy phones on One UI, but now with the latest updates, the Auto Blocker comes enabled by default on the Galaxy phones. Now this restricts the third-party applications or the uh, third-party app stores to be installed on the phone. You will have to go to the Auto Blocker, disable it, and then you will have to install this. Now Epic says this restriction is imposed deliberately by uh, Samsung on One UI. Now let me just show you what exactly this is all about. When you go to these settings on your Galaxy phones, uh, tap on security and privacy. Here, when you scroll down, you will see an option auto blocker. It says your phone is protected. When you tap on that, you will see what exactly this auto blocker is going to do. It blocks applications from unauthorized sources. Only application from authorized sources can be installed, which means you will be able to install uh, the applications or games from the Galaxy Store or the Google's Play Store, not from any other third party stores. You will only be able to sideload the applications of the third party app store if you disable this auto blocker blocker option. Then it says blocks commands by USB cable. Malicious chargers, computers and other devices won't be able to send commands to your phone when connected using a USB cable. Blocks malware images in messaging applications. When you receive a message with an image that's suspected of containing malware, the image will be blocked to keep you safe. Then it blocks software updates by USB cable, prevents installation of system software using a USB cable. This can stop someone with physical access to your phone from installing malicious softwares without your knowledge. Now some of these things doesn't actually make sense because if someone already has a physical access to your phone and has opened your phone then obviously they can go to auto blocker and turn this feature off and then access whatever they want. But yeah when it comes to blocking malware images on the messaging application is a very very important security feature. Android is vulnerable anybody can send these kind of uh, malware images or links and if you open it the phone will get hacked so that's a big possibility and this auto blocker feature definitely adds an extra layer of security as far as uh, these malware images are concerned. And even the blocking of applications from unauthorized sources is actually good because we may install some applications from unknown sources without our knowledge which can damage the phone. So this is definitely an extra layer of security that we have but Epic claims that this is being done by Samsung and Google to prevent the users from installing the third-party application stores. Now that is a big claim. I'm not very sure whether this time they are going to win this battle or not. Now the thing is because of Epic we are able to to install the third-party application stores on Google we have to thank them for that like recently I made a video about installing the epic game store on the phone while installing it the phone will tell you that uh, installing these applications or these stores from third parties may damage your phone and that might alarm you uh, while installing these third-party app stores and because that message pops up when you're installing these applications or these uh, third-party stores you may not go ahead and install them because you will be scared what if the phone gets damaged so this actually risks people from installing the third-party app store or the uh, outside loading the APKs from other sources. So what do you think? Do you think Epic's uh, claim is real? Is it going to work out for them? Drop a comment and let me know. And also let me know whether auto blocker is a good feature that you got on One UI. Drop a comment and let me know. Now under auto blocker we also have some additional security features. Uh, there is something new added with the all new One UI 6.1 upgrade that is called maximum restrictions. This is right under the auto blocker feature when you tap on maximum restrictions 
uh, you will see what it actually does. It turns on application protection, blocks uh, device admin applications, blocks auto downloading attachments, blocks hyperlinks and previews, removes location data when sharing pictures, blocks shared albums, removes location data when sharing pictures. Now these are some additional options which enhances the security which is already there under the auto blocker feature. But if you enable this feature, there'll be a lot of restrictions. You may not be able to attach images and send it on WhatsApp and you will face challenges while downloading the attachments from any application. So I don't suggest you to enable this, but if it is really important, you can go ahead and do that. I have not even turned on the auto blocker on my phone because I do experiment some applications from third parties. And while I was downloading this Epic Game Store, uh, that's an official Epic Game Store from Epic. Uh, so I had to turn off the auto blocker and install that uh, application or that app store on my Galaxy 4. So you just have to do the due diligence while installing these applications from uh, the third parties or side loading these applications. Uh, there are some websites like AP can mirror which is a kind of trustworthy uh, website from where you will be able to download some apks but you can't really download any applications from third party websites or uh, sideload any app stores uh, from third parties because that might harm your phone and that is the reason why we have got auto blocker on samsung galaxy phones one ui but now epic says this is actually not right you're not supposed to restrict people from installing them but according to me Auto blocker is a great feature because this definitely saves us from malware or viruses getting onto our phone. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. So that's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, and anything related to technology. And yeah, hit that like button if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.